Welcome to this Corp Maths video on expanding brackets. In this video we're going to look at how to expand brackets in the form a plus b all to the power of n by using Pascal's triangle to help us. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by looking at a few expansions and then what we're going to do is have a look at Pascal's triangle and then how to do these questions really quickly and easily using it. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to expand x plus y to the power of 2 or x plus y squared. So to do that first of all if I was doing this question I would write x plus y times x plus y. Then I would expand by using foil x times x, x times y, y times x and y times y and that would give me x squared plus xy plus xy, obviously in alphabetical order, plus y squared. And then I simplify to get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a similar question but I'm going to change the power from a 2 to a 3 so instead of squared I'm going to do cubed. So let's have a look at expand and simplify x plus y to the power of 3 or cubed. So again what I would do is write it out in full x plus y x plus y x plus y. Then I would expand the first two brackets and I've already done that in the previous question and we got x squared plus 2xy plus y squared so then that would be that but then we'd still need to multiply it by an x plus y it's like so. Then I would do foil, and this would be quite complicated. I would have to multiply that uh, x squared by x, x squared by y, and so on. And that would give us this whenever we've done it, which would be x cubed plus x squared y plus 2x squared y plus 2x y squared plus x y squared plus y cubed so it's getting quite long and complicated and then finally I would simplify by adding the the like terms they're collecting the like terms and that would give us the answer x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3x y squared plus y cubed so as you can see these questions would be quite long and complicated particularly as you increase this power from a 3 to 4 or 5 or 6 even it would be really complicated and easy to make a mistake in so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look and see what Pascal's triangle is and how it can help us out so to generate Pascal's triangle, we start off with a 1 at the top, and then we put two 1s beneath it, and then a 1 on the outside, and then we're going to do 1 plus 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, so we put that there, and then again another 1 on the outside. We put 1 on the outside, and then we're going to do 1 plus 2, so we're adding each of the terms to get the term directly beneath it. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then again a 1 on the outside, again 1 here, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then a 1 on the outside, and so on. So this is how Pascal's tri uh, triangle is generated, and actually it would look something like this. And Pascal's triangle can be really useful to help us expand brackets quickly and easily. So if we have a look at our first question that I gave you, it was x plus y squared. The coefficients, the numbers in front of the terms are 1, 2, and 1. Obviously if it was just x squared it's 1x squared if it's x 2xy well the coefficients are 2 in front of that and again y squared the coefficient is 1 so the coefficients are 1 2 and 1 and if we look at Pascal's triangle we've got 1 2 and 1 in this row our next question I gave you was x plus y to the power of 3 and whenever we work that out our coefficients the numbers in front of the terms are 1 3 3 and 1 and again if we look at Pascal's triangle the next row is 1 3 3 and 1 so Pascal's triangle can be really useful to find those numbers in front of each of the terms so let's have a look at another question now so our next question is to expand and simplify x plus y to the power of 4 and we're not going to do this out in full because it would take a long time we're going to use Pascal's triangle to help us so I'm just going to quickly look at this question, x plus y to the power of 3, and we're going to look at the terms. So do you notice the first term just had x to the power of 3, then it was x squared, then x, and then no x's, and then we had then the y's introduced as y, y squared, and y cubed. Well, if we have a look at this question we're going to do, that's going to happen as well. So we're going to have x to the power of 4 being the first term, plus leave a gap for the coefficient, and then x to the power of 3, so we're decreasing the powers of x's, and we're going to introduce our y's, so y plus leave a gap, x squared, again decreasing the power of x's and then increasing the powers of the other term, so increasing the power of y from a 1 to a 2, plus again leaving a gap, so that's going to be x, because that's x to the power of 1, so it's just x, and then y cubed, and our last, our last term would be y to the power of 4. Now we just need to figure out what the coefficients would be, what the numbers in front of those terms would be. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. So we want the row with 5 numbers in it, so it's going to be 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. So 1, we don't need to write that in, because that would just be 1x to the power of 4, it's just x to the power of 4. 4, 6, 4, and 1. So rather than having to expand this, we can use Pascal's triangle to help us expand it and simplify it really quickly and simply. That's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Our next question, we're going to put some numbers in, so it's going to be a little bit more complicated, but we'll just follow the same sort of steps. 
So we've got x plus 2 to the power of 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to write out our terms. So that's going to be x to the power of 4 is our first term. There may be a number in front of it, so we'll just leave a gap there. Plus, leave another gap. It's going to be x to the power of 3. Now we've got a 2 here instead of a y, so we're going to write 2 to the power of 1. And then, again, leave a gap. We're going to have x to the power of 2. We're decreasing the powers of x, and we're going to write this time 2. And we're going to increase the power, so 2 squared. Plus, again, leave a gap. x to the power of 1, or just x, and then 2 to the power of 3 this time, we're increasing the powers, and then our last term will be, again, leave a gap, and then the x's will have gone by the stage, but we've now just got 2 to the power of 4. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our numbers, and we're going to in front, and we're going to use Pascal's triangle to help us get those. So it's to the power of 4, so we're going to need 5 numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So 1, 4, 6, 4, and then 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work out what these would be. We're going to sort of multiply, work out our powers, and we're going to multiply. So it's going to be x to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 1 is 2 times 4 is 8, so 8x cubed plus 2 squared is 4 times 6 is 24, so 24x squared plus 2 cubed is 8 times 4 is 32, so 32x. And finally, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. And that's it. So if you were given the question, expand and simplify x plus 2 to the power of 4, the answer would be x to the power of 4 plus 8x cubed plus 24x squared plus 32x plus 16. Okay, let's have a look at another question. What we're going to do is change the power, and we're also going to change this from a plus 2 to sort of a, um, you know, how involving a negative or a takeaway in there. So we've got y subtract 3 all to the power of 5. So this time what we're going to do is the same thing, but as before, we're going to have our first term, which is y to the power of 5. Again, leave a number in front of it. I do know it's going to be a 1, because obviously the Pascal's triangle, the numbers at the front are 1, but we'll leave a gap anyway. Plus, and then we're going to have y to the power of 4, because we're decreasing the powers of the first term, so that's going to be 4. And then we're going to have our second term to the power of 1. Now, we have got minus 3 here, so we're going to put that in a bracket, and we're going to write minus 3, and then to the power of 1. Plus, again, leave a gap. We're going to have y to the power of 3. We're going to put in our minus 3 or negative 3, and we're going to do it to the power of 2. And then plus, leave a gap, y to the power of 2, and then minus 3 to the power of 3. Plus, leave a gap, y to the power of 1, and then minus 3 to the power of 4. And then finally, plus, leave a gap. <laughs> okay, so the gap's getting quite small here. And then it's going to be our last term, our minus 3 to the power of 5. So minus 3 to the power of 5. Fits in nicely. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to now do is we're going to um, put in our coefficients, the numbers in front, and we're going to use Pascal's triangle to help us get those. So we've got to the power of 5, so we're going to need 6 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms. So that's going to be this row, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. Okay, now in this question, what I would do is rather than sort of trying to, in the last question, I worked out 2 squared and multiplied by 6 in one go. In this question, because we've got the negatives in here, we're going to be a bit more careful and we're going to just work out the negative 3 and with the powers to begin with, and then we'll do the other multiplication in a second. So we're going to sort of do another two rows here. So our first term will be y to the power of 5. That's nice. Now, we've got minus 3 to the power of 1. Well, that's just going to be minus 3. So I'm going to write plus 5y to the power of 4. And I'm going to put the minus 3 in brackets, so minus 3, plus. And then I'm going to work out what negative 3 squared is. So negative 3 squared, well, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So it's going to be plus y to the power of 3. And then I'll put the 9 in brackets plus 10y squared, and then I'm going to work out what negative 3 cubed is. So negative times negative times negative is a negative, and then 3 cubed is 27, so it's going to be in brackets minus 27. And then plus 5y, I'm going to work out what the negative 3 to the power of 4 is. Well, a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative is a positive, so it's going to be positive, and then 3 to the power of 4 is 81. And then finally, negative 3 to the power of 5, well, negative times negative times negative times negative times negative, that's going to be negative, and then 3 to the power of 5 is 243. So now that we've worked out what negative 3 to the various powers are, we're now going to simplify our answer to get our final answer. So, and be careful whenever you're doing this, particularly with the signs, the positives, the negatives. So y to the power of 5, we then have 5 times negative 3. Well, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So instead of writing plus negative 15 y to the power of 4, we'll just write minus 15 y to the power of 4. 
We've then got 10 times 9, well that's 90, so plus 90y cubed. We've then got 10 times negative 27, so it's going to be minus 270y squared. We then have 5 times 81, so that's going to be 405 y and finally we've got plus negative 243 so that's going to be minus 243 and that's it so if we've been asked to simplify y minus 3 all to the power of 5 the final answer would be y to the power of 5 minus 15 y to the power of 4 plus 90 y cubed subtract 270 y squared plus 405 y subtract 243 so the next example is to expand and simplify w plus 2y all cubed. So what we're going to do is, again, we're going to start off by writing down our w, so w to the power of 3, plus leave a gap, w squared, and then the 2y, we're going to put that in brackets, so 2y to the power of 1, plus, again, leave a gap, it's now just going to be w, and then 2y squared remember we're decreasing the powers of the w's and we're increasing the powers of the 2y and then finally plus we've now got no there's no w's here and then it's going to be 2y cubed okay we have got one two three four terms so we need a, the row of pascal's triangle with four numbers in it so that's one three three and one so one three three and one Okay, now what we're going to do is, like a similar to our last example, what we're going to do is we're going to work out the two y's to the various powers to begin with. So we're going to get w cubed plus 3w squared, and 2y were the powers 1, so we'll just have 2y there, plus 3w. Now we're going to work out what 2y squared is. Well, 2y squared, well, 2y times 2y is 4y squared, so that's 4y squared plus, and then finally, 2y cubed, well, 2 cubed is 8, so it's going to be 8y cubed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply to get our terms. So we have got w to the power of 3, and then we have got 3 times 2 is 6, w squared y. We've got 3 times 4 is 12, so 12wy squared, and finally, 8y cubed. And that's it. So if you have a number in front of the letter, make sure you include that in the brackets before you then do the, the powers. So here we've done the 2y squared, the 2y cubed, and so on. Some questions don't ask you, ask you to work out the full expansion. They ask you just for the coefficient of a particular term. So the question we've got here is use Pascal's triangle to work out the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of 2 plus 3x all to the power of 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by doing 2 to the power of 5, plus again leaving a gap, 2 to the power of 4, and then put the 3x in brackets, so 3x to the power of 1, plus, we didn't need the 1 there, but I've, I've put it there, plus again leave a gap, 2 cubed, so decreasing the powers for the 2, and then 3x squared, plus again leave a gap, well, actually, we don't need to go any further here because we were just asked for the coefficient of x squared. So instead, what I'm going to do is just put dot, 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 just to show it carries on, but I'm not going to do the, the whole thing. Okay, now we need to make sure that we get the right row of Pascal's triangle. Now, because I haven't written out the whole thing, I can't just go, you know, one, two, three and count. But I'm going to look at the power, which is five. So that means that there's going to be six terms. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's this row here. So it's going to be the first number here will be one. We don't need to write that down. Then it's going to be a five. So I'm just going to put a five in brackets there in the front there. And then we've got a ten. So I'm just going to put a ten in brackets just because we've got the two cubed and so on. Okay, so let's work out what this is going to be. Now, whenever we're working this out, it's very important that you do the three x's to the various powers first of all. So it's going to be 2 to the power 5 plus 5, and then the 2 to the power 4, and then 3x to the power of 1. Well, that's just going to be 3x plus, and then we've got our 10 in a bracket, we've got our 2 cubed, and then we're going to do 3x squared. Well, 3x times 3x is 9x squared, so it's going to be 9x squared in the brackets. Okay, and then plus, and then just put a few dots to show that you're not going to write the rest of this, the expansion. And then let's work out what this would be. So 2 to the power of 5 is 32, and then we have got plus, we have got 5 times 2 to the power of 4, well, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 16 times 5 is 80, times by 3 is equal to 240x. Next, we have got 10 times 2 cubed, well, 2 cubed is 8, so that's 10 times 8, which is 80, times 9 would be 720, so plus 720x squared, and so on. Now, the question asks us just for the coefficient of the x squared. So as you can see here, the coefficient of x squared is 720. So the answer would just be 720 in that question. 
And our last question. Our last question says the coefficient of the x cubed term in the expansion of 2x plus a all to the power of 5 is 2000. Work out the possible values for a. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the expansion up until the x cubed term and then we're going to focus on that coefficient. So let's do that to begin with. So we've got our 2x. Now make sure we put the whole thing in brackets. So it's going to be 2x to the power of 5 plus, leave a gap, 2x to the power of 4. And then we've got our a to the power of 1. So I'm just going to write a plus, again, leave a gap. We've got our 2x all to the power of 3. And then now we've got our a squared, and then we're going to leave a gap, and so on, or plus and so on. Um, but in this question, we were looking for just the coefficient of the x cubed term. Well, as you can see here, this is going to be the only term of x cubes in it, so we can stop and just put our dots. Okay, let's make sure we've got our right numbers in front. So we have got our power of is 5, so we're going to look for the row of Pascal's triangle with 6 terms. So our 6 numbers, that's 1, 5, 5, or 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So we've got 1. 5, 10. So we're going to be focusing on this term here. At this point here, what I'm actually going to do is, to help me save time, I'm just going to be focusing on this one. So I'm going to just ignore the, the terms at the beginning. So we have got, let's just put some dots to show. Uh, we have got 2 to two x cubed, so 2x cubed, that's going to be 2 cubed is 8, so it's going to be 10, then brackets, 8x cubed, so just working out what the 2x to the power of 3 would be, and then a squared, and then plus and so on. Okay, and then we're going to multiply this, so that would give us, well, 10 times 8 would be 80, so it's going to be 80x cubed times a squared. a squared is just a number, so we'll move that to the front, so it's going to be 80a squared x cubed. And the question says the coefficient of the x cubed term is 2000. So this coefficient is equal to 2000. And we've been asked to work out the possible values of a. So let's write down what that would be. So 80 a squared equals 2000. What we're now going to do is divide 2000 by 80. And when we do that, we get a squared is equal to when we do that, we get a squared is equal to 25. And the question says work out the possible values for a. And that's good because that means that because it's a squared is equal to 25, that means that a is equal to positive or negative 5. So the possible values for a are a equals negative 5 or a equals 5. And that's it. And that's it. So as you can see, Pascal's triangle can be very useful to help you expand brackets quickly and easily.